Hello everybody, this is Amo from Entertainment Research Group and I'm going to show some really beginning stuff how to make a sound effect on a Cubase. I get this question a lot, people say we get the sound on a track, we get the track but they cannot figure out how to do some effect like reverb or delay. So those effects are usually sand effects. So I'm going to show you how this works. There are several ways to do it. This is how I do it. So first we have the track here. You can see it. And now I'm just going to open the mixer. And let's see here my channel. So what I do, I create a effect channel. So I go here, add track, effects channel. And I will just select something that comes with a Cubase. Here we go, room works. And I can have it stereo. Here we go. So we got the effect channel right here and just want to name it so we can refer it later. Reverb. So this is my plugin here that was loaded and I'm just gonna get some standard patch church okay now so usually send effects how you wanna do it you wanna get the mix all the way to 100% so you can get the wet signal back okay so now we have this channel here and we have a fix so how we're gonna connect them together so I click this E and we'll go channel properties right here you can see so there are two section insert and send what we're going to do is a send effects today because usually reverb delay those kind of effects are send effects so when i click this empty slot you can see the reverb is on the list so i will just add it here i will turn on the reverb and we can already hear the reverb so usually if you don't hear because sometimes you don't hear by default because this volume will be all the way back so what you have need to do just grab it and give it a volume so basically you tell him how much volume you send into the effect so and here we go you can already hear the reverb effect so it's pretty simple and pretty straightforward how to do this and in many cases this is enough to work with but there is a little trick here um, this button that uh, turns the pre-fader and post-fader right now we have in a post-fader position what, what that basically says that sound from input comes to this fader and that fader controls not just the sound on a channel on a voice channel but also it controls how much going to be sent to that effect right here so if i let's see if i put it down and gone gone so you heard everything was gone now if you click this button pre-fader what that means it means that it doesn't really care what we have here because sound doesn't come from here to the effect it comes straight from an input oh if you had a uh, the vocal track or any other track here it would come from a track and bypass this input so what that means now I'm gonna turn the volume down and you can hear still the effect is still there so the reverb effect was still there so this is kind of a creative way to do things but it's not really used all the time because usually you want to control the by I mean naturally you want to control volume and also the reverb with it okay we got the reverb so let's say we want to put another effect like a delay so how you do that it's pretty simple you just add another fx channel and we stereo let's load some plugin here delay stereo delay okay let's load some standard preset answer delay so what we have here are now another channel that is delay let's rename it so we can refer to it easily delay now what we do we open the properties of the voice channel the one i'm talking through your properties of the track you won't have a delay on and it's right here and on an empty slot i'll just click on it and select delay so turn it on again and 
Pump the volume up. Send level. Pump the volume up. Send level. Okay, we can hear the delay right now. Okay, we can hear the delay right now. Okay, we can hear the delay right now. Okay. So this is basically how delay so works and anything else. Uh, so we can have any combination here of different sends. Uh, some people do sometimes mistake I've seen actually. Uh, like if they want to put the second delay, they don't create the separate channel and they go and put it right here. If you open properties of the reverb channel, like put a delay here, that's probably not right unless that's what you're looking for. In most general cases, you really need to create the second channel. So yeah, this is it. Pretty simple tutorial how to do the setup, the send effects in Cubase. So make sure you guys check our YouTube channel, Creative Musicians. Also, don't forget to check out our blog, erg-blog.com. We have a lot of cool pro audio tricks, tutorials, and all kind of interesting things. See you next time.